What's up, everybody? Thomas J. Bracassi is coming at you another episode of AT Talks. This is Simple Rehab, episode three. Episode one was Why You Suck at Rehab. Episode two was Simple Progressions. And episode three is, drum roll please, body part versus body. Okay, so I think, and I've seen on Twitter, a lot of athletic trainers, they get too tunnel vision on treating the specific body part or selected muscle or a selected muscle group. And they forget about the rest of the chain. They forget about the other parts. They forget about the compound uh, movements that happen with athletics. And they just focus in on one thing. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but I don't think that's the right thing either. Uh, So let's just take an ankle, for example. A lot of my kids will get lateral ankle sprains. And yes, do we need to strengthen the muscles around the ankle? Absolutely. But that ankle connects to the knee, connects to the hip, connects to the low back. So we're going to do quad work. We're going to do hamstring work. We're going to do glute work. We're going to do hip flexor work. We're going to do core work along with that ankle and foot rehab. We're going to work the whole chain. We're going to get everything strong. We're going to get everything mobile, or at least the best of our ability before they go back to the sport or start their maintenance program. And I'm not just going to focus in on doing, okay, day one, alphabets, ankle pumps, circles, circles in, circles out. Okay, cool. Can we do some type of lunge? Okay, you can't do a full lunge. Can we do a partial lunge? Can we put some weight on the ankle joint, load it up, get a little bit of flexion in the knee, a little bit of load in the hip, get off of it. Okay, you can do that. Great, let's add those in. All right, can you squat? No, you can't squat. You can't do a lunge. Okay, how about a mini squat? Can we just start to load it up and get off of it? Load it up, get off of it. Or you can do all different other types of exercise. I just like those two, just because a lunge and a squat, you can change them up so much. They're they're the perfect exercises uh, because there's a hundred different ways to do them. And there's a hundred different ways to keep them fun. And um, I absolutely love them. So they're my go-to. But I know a lot of people that just get stuck on the four-way ankles and they'll do some balance work. You know, maybe they'll do some towel scrunches, work on some of those intrinsic foot, you know, musculature. And those are some isometrics, you know, uh, four-way ankles, but it's just the isometric hold that they're using their hands to provide that resistance, which I think is fine. But why stop there? You know, it's connected to the knee and the, the hip and the low back. So why don't you train up the chain? Same thing with an elbow. Okay, if someone hurts their elbow, let's say it's a pitcher, and you think it's UCL, and you want to strengthen bicep, tricep form, awesome. I agree 100%. But how about we strengthen the shoulder and the rotator cuff? and the chest, and the back, and the core musculature. And if they're a pitcher, they're throwing a ball, they're a thrower, okay, well, let's not stop there. Let's do the the hip flexors, let's do the quads, let's do the glutes, let's do the hamstrings. Let's train, it's all one chain. It all works together. The bicep isn't acting alone. The tricep isn't acting alone. When the basketball player that hurts the knee, hurts the ankle, when they go back to the sport and they're running, they're jumping, they're cutting, it's not just the one muscle. It's not just the quad. It's not just the patellar tendon working by itself. It's a whole chain of things working together. So I say, train the chain, train the chain, do some of that specific stuff, but don't forget about the chain. Don't get too narrow focused. Don't get too blinded and just thinking ankle, 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 ankle. Well, that's, that's good. You're going to help the ankle. They're going to feel better. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of other reasons why that ankle could have been injured. It could have been a fluke acute thing, or it could be a chronic issue coming from the hip or the knee, or same thing with that knee. A lot of knees are knees, unless they're acute, right? If they're chronic knee issues, they're coming from the hip, they're coming from the ankle, they're coming from the low back. A lot of my guys, they have hip and hip and back pain, but they also have like really bad knees. They have no core stability. They don't know how to work their glutes. Their calves are real tight. Their anterior shin musculature is just super fatigued because it's so weak and it's trying to pick all this extra load up from the body from bad mechanics that it's getting crushed. So what we do, we train the chain, we strengthen everything. So that's going to be the third uh, episode for simple rehab. And that is, don't just look at the body part, look at the body, train the chain. All right, have a good one.